but honestly, I don't care. Now we are back at the entrance. So, ready the crushing stone. Just break that open. I don't need to re-equip the steel tip yet. So why didn't I open this before when it could have helped me so much? Because, well, hey, I, I could have just gone through here, gone back to the entrance, and maybe found another portal nearby. I'll show you soon enough. And it will make you question, but why? So, I'm all the way up here. You have a door to the left here. Can't open it. You got a door to the right here. This is a shopkeep area. Triple question mark in the corner right there. So why can I not use this? Because I don't have the ability to jump to the ceiling. Ah, uh, it's so... It's just so... Much. Dumb. So basically, I don't have the key. I don't remember where I need to go to get the key. And I'm having trouble remembering exactly where I found the damn thing in the first place. Unless I already have it. But from the looks of it, I do not. And it's not a relic. So yes, I can jump down through here. Now I have to walk through all this. Because... Uh, the, the nearest portal back, I believe, is in the caves. And I need to check the one spot in the B side of this to see if that's where the key is. So I'll be back with you once I get to the B side of the skeleton caves. All right, so we're back in this room. You want to know what I forgot? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to check the upper left hand corner. You want to know why I forgot? Because it got checked off the map immediately. So yes, I was incredibly dumb and... completely screwed myself over because I didn't remember that singular fact that the map updates certain rooms before you even fully visit the entire thing. Oh, and what fun. Thankfully, I can do that to at least fix my problems. I almost want to try a different way of fixing that because I think mine is just complex and dumb. But yes, that White Dragon guards floodgate key, which we need to open up the waterways and, you know, well, literally open the floodgates so that we can progress. I am very, very disappointed in myself solely because of how long that took me to remember. And by remember, I mean search high and low in this damn castle where I could check at least. Only to be led right back to here. I didn't need to go to the B-side. I mean, I did unlock a few things, which... Okay, now I don't need to go back to... Yet. Most of the anger drained out of me immediately. I, there is no anger anymore. It's just me realizing how dumb I was for not thoroughly checking out that room.
plugging key was used. And now the lion is spewing water. Immense water drained away from somewhere. Yay, a diamond. Book or cross. Cross, because I can do some serious cheese with it. And honestly, with some talent, I can actually uh, very easily beat the boss no damage. Okay. Are gone. Another level up. Forty two. I am now the answers to the universe, everything, and such and such. I almost want to say you can make it to the boss room if you're so full up on healing items that you don't mind using them all. Arm plate. Let's see how this goes. Instead of the guardian glove. Yep. Just use that. Oh, new stuff. So nice. And what's annoying, there are more secrets, but I don't have the ability to unlock them. Leggings! Which I think the full helmet is better than the leggings. Yes, yes they are. So, if I didn't want to use the uh, magic... Or, uh... Yeah, the MP regeneration item. Nice try, Blaze Master. Yep, that's a massive troll, I gotta say. So, Luminous Caverns A. Uh, let's go... And save over that. So this is where you were. Return Lighty to me. Fear not. The maiden is now with Maxim. But why? Leave Lighty out of this. The maiden lay in essential role in the completion of this castle. What do you mean by that? This castle is in a transient state and is preparing for my lord's resurrection. However, the castle is not complete until these two castles emerge. In short, we must rid of your dear friend's spirit. Maxim is a man of great strength. It won't be so easy to do as you plan. He was born of my lord. So of course he knows ways to reinforce his powers. When something is dear to you, its effects upon you become immeasurable. 
No, surely not. Not Lady's blood. Stay away from her. Do not interfere now. I will extinguish the candle of your soul. Welcome to the death fight, everyone. Death is a massive pushover when you use Grand Cross. Especially when he decides to stay tangible for as long as he has. Also using any of the shield weapons. Kind of, uh... Easily messes with them. Oh, I'm sorry. I was hit twice there. Or when I really shouldn't have. So now we can turn that off. And who's ready for Death Phase 2, everyone? Who likes Death Phase 2? Yeah, only his scythe bits. Are, uh, damaging. As shown right there when I, uh... Okay, uh, death, you jerk. Yeah, that's where it gets, uh, annoying. Okay, so, spell book. Let's get that bolt book back on. Ah, oh, annoyingly, you can hit his tail. But you can't do damage that way. Yeah, this this second phase is much like Dracula Phase 2 from Circle of the Moon. It's long, it's boring, it's relying on you to basically screw up by just not paying attention to anything. You know what, I'm turning on the wind book. An elixir, a mana prism. Oh wow, a mana prism's not enough to, uh... Let me do that. But yeah, death literally just plays Pong. Waiting for you to, uh, essentially die. You're too late. The castles will soon begin to merge together. Goodbye, Death. You were a long and boring fight for Phase 2. Come on. There we are. So we have obtained the Griffin's Wings. What does it do? Well, if we press down, up, and jump, that is not saying either down or up. That was wrong. But if we press down, then up in rapid succession, we use the ability. I get that you don't have... Uh, the same ability to map buttons like you did in Circle of the Moon, but uh, I don't like multi-button inputs to activate a simple ability. I just feel it's not the right way to go about certain things. Also, there's a few things we could grab that are secrets. But we need another item for this. Completely forgot about that. Oh, that didn't take out the pixie. Okay. So save. Now we're good. Reactivate that. Now we basically have next to unrestricted access to the castle. The reason I say next to unrestricted access is due to the fact that although we have the ability to basically go most of wherever we damn well please, it's not quite complete. 
So we got that heart max up from here. And we have to return here in uh, B-side. For some other stuff. Yeah, the annoying part of that. Since it's a multi-button input type deal. Oh, you summon Fleeman from the ceiling? You're the worst. Okay, hammer hammer. Not too bad of an enemy. We now have the skull key. We now have the ability to unlock skull doors. Yeah, just, just really not giving a damn about most of the enemies. Still have to come back here to get that map completion. At least it's not that far away. Yeah, since just head up here. I actually have a lot of map completion to do. And uh, what's more... I'll be better off if I go to B-side for a lot of the exploring I have to do. Since most of it I have to do in B-side, because I have the entire entryway to do now. Ugh. Nearly... Actually, no, exactly, like... Two hours. It took me to get the key. Boss fights weren't tricky. Finding that damn flood cake key, though. That was the part that got me. All right. But now that we're back here, I can grab that elixir and grab the walk armor. This armor restores its user's HP when in motion, lowers my defense and int, but I can then just replenish my HP by walking. Not too bad, not too great. Now what am I going to do? Well, I'm actually going to go around and... Uh, just head through some of those... Uh, paths that I have to go through. I'll be using them a lot because, well, hey, I gotta get around the castle somehow. So first one to go through. Right up here. We had the item that was there as well as... I, I almost want to say it was two drumsticks. But... Nope. Now I can go through here. That is all I could really do with this. Nothing else comes of this. So, basically, all I need to do is just, you know, go back to A side and grab that for some map completion. Which I can do at any time, so not worrying about it now. Instead, I do need to go back to the Cavern of Skulls and do all that stuff. Or... Or, I can do things a bit differently. 